Hey everyone, Raptor Spank here, and today I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I know Steam is doing this whole like demo game thing going on right now with a number of indie games, and I noticed this Jupiter's Moons mecha game. It's like a card game based roguelike mech game, and I already played through it once, and I I beat f I think it's four bosses you can beat, and that's the end of it. I was just gonna play through one contract as they call it which is a series of battles ending in a boss battle so i'm just going to play through that just to showcase the game but i actually found it to be a fair bit fair bit more fun than even i expected it was uh pretty neat um i liked how the mechanics worked and there's some things you could do like there's a number of cards that give you more points per turn to use action points or whatever and there's a number of things that could draw through your deck so there were some turns where i was like cycling through hand after hand after hand doing a ton of damage and that was pretty fun so Combine that with the whole like mech crafting aspect where you're uh, equipping things depending on how you want and everything you equip adds new cards and stuff like that and you have to manage the uh, the inventory spots for each so you can't just equip everything you get. It's, it's a really neat thing so I thought uh, why not let's uh, let's play it and showcase it. So I'm uh, going to start a new game here and like I said I'm probably just going to do one contract. We'll see. Um, just to keep the video relatively short but uh, definitely games worth checking out. Um, I think for for a few more days this demo is available at least or maybe it'll be available for a while but yeah so here's our opening hand this is our number of action points here this is uh, our current stats so if I drag green cards over to here it'll use it on uh, me and stuff will like add armor and then generate heat and then this removes heat these all generate heats as well and I can drag them over here to deal damage to the uh, the opponent here and everything I do will add heat and then if I recall correctly or if I understood correctly if you have a lot of heat you start taking a bunch of extra damage now all of these these lasers and all that stuff in the nano AI are um, basically attached to certain parts of my mech's body so like if I take enough damage and they destroy my like my uh, I guess this would be right arm um, if they destroy that, I'll lose whatever attacks are on there. So that's kind of one of the things you have to worry about and just constantly be healing yourself to uh, basically fix it and make sure you can use all your cards, which kind of is a is a typical thing for mech games. So it's it's not that uh, that weird for mech games, but for a mech card game, it's, it's a pretty neat concept. So now what I just did there was I shot him three times, so I did a bunch of damage, and since those are laser weapons, they ignore a certain amount of armor, I believe. And now I've uh, generated up to 15 heat over here, so there's pretty much no uh, disadvantage to keeping my heat low, at least that I've noticed. Maybe there's some cards where you need uh, high heat, but... And then what he just did there was he also lowered his heat, and now you can see up here that he's going to shoot at me. Um, but that's fine. Um, let's see. So we haven't taken any damage, so we're just going to laser and then we're going to pass. Um, because using these would actually be bad for me, because since I haven't taken any damage, I'm not going to get any value out of them, and all it's going to do is increase my heat. And then, um, so even though I have the AP, not going to use it. And the card like this is single use, which means when I use it, it's going to be gone for the rest of this fight. So that would also be very bad. So there'll be times I won't use something because I'd rather use it later. Now, I think this is probably not the Yeah, it is. Oh, all right, there we go. And first battle down. Now, what's covered up in the top right here that you can't see is that it tells me what my current contract is, who the boss is, what stage I'm at. So right now I'm one of four. So I, that means I have to beat two more things and then the boss. And then how many completed contracts I have. Um, I don't know how much I'm covering that, but... Um, now, uh, at the end of everything, there's going to be rewards. So this first box gives you a bunch of stuff that's all yours. I don't know exactly... Okay, yeah, so this is for a feature that's not in yet. But these spare parts, those are used to refit your mech, which means re-equip or change the equipment and the layout of your mech. And it's also used for repairing your mech. So that's the big currency right now. Okay, so now when you open one of these chests, you get to make a choice. So I can choose this laser. Oh, I do... Uh of self-cooling laser. Okay, so that one's that one's not going to generate any heat when you fire it. And then it's going to give another piercing laser. Um, then I have light armor, so this will add some, some healing that I can choose. And pattern analysis. Okay, I like pattern analysis, because that'll draw us cards. Ooh, and for zero. Yeah, we're going to take that. That's one of the more fun aspects I found in the game, was when you can draw a bunch of things. Ooh, heat sinks are very good. Although these ones, not as great. So what does this have? Self-cooling and a piercing laser. Um, ooh, drain 
nano. I haven't used this yet, so I think that uh, strips shields or yeah, strips shields from the opponent and gives it to us. Um, heat sinks are really good when you can start getting ones because all the stuff for heat sinks cost zero that I've seen so far. Um, and the advantage of that for removing heat is re is obvious, but you can get ones where they give you AP too while removing heat. So that's what I'm really that's what I'm really looking for. Now it would have been tempting to take like more guns to fill this out because as you can see we have a bunch of boxes we can fill here. Um, so if I had taken those guns, those guns actually take a three slot, so I could have put it right here. Um, and here I'm I'm gonna rearrange this stuff just to just to show you what you can uh, what you can do here. So now I could fit like a four here. I could fit a six block. So that's where the the cool mech aspect of this comes in is that you can rearrange all of your stuff to make sure that everything fits right. Now this only goes into head slots. Now right arm and left arm is the only place where you can equip weapons. Heat sinks can go into head, torso, or the legs. Uh, armor can go into any of the spots to make it harder to destroy those spots. Um, and I think we'll put this. We'll put this on the head for now. And then we'll pay the 26 scrap, refit it. But yeah, this is the neat part of the game is that what we have equipped here will determine what's in our deck over here. And so you see we have all these lasers that we equipped, we have these nano, um, and then we have the drain nano that we just equipped, and the quantum precognition, which is card draw. Um, and again, since it's single use, that means I can only use it once per uh, per battle. So once I use it, it's not I'm not going to draw it again. Everything else goes back into your deck and you cycle through it. As I mentioned, so we've got these two lasers, and then more lasers here. So right now, if someone destroyed my left arm, I would lose four of these lasers. And what, and how you'll notice that is when you draw the card, it will be grayed out, meaning that's damaged. So this is definitely one of the parts that made this way more interesting for me than I thought. Because the game's a relatively straightforward card game, as you can see. But the fact that you're kind of customizing your mech, and you're making sure that everything fits, and since there's the inventory limit, there's that inventory... Uh, that inventory management aspect of it that's pretty sweet and just in general you can really play around with your uh, setup and sometimes you just you can't fit everything so you start pulling off what you don't care about as much just to get some really cool and powerful stuff in there but yeah let's jump into the next battle here and show you a little bit more and hopefully we can start to get some really unique uh unique equipment okay so i can uh, i can drain nano and that will uh take some of his armor off even though we're not going to gain from it. And then we'll hit the laser. And, well, this isn't one use, so we'll use it. Most heat sink things are, are like, the big ones are single use, so often it won't be worth using unless you can get the full amount off. But since that wasn't the case, we're going to, uh, we're just going to light them up with laser. Perfect. Burn it through it. And now, uh, if you're looking at this stuff on the right here, so this is card files. So I believe this is what's left in our deck. Um, this is uh, let me let me remember what that. That's the discard, right? So that's things that get discarded. But I believe things in the discard go back in. And then this is the bin where things that are like single use they'll end up in the bin, and that just tells you that they're gone for good. So we will light them up again with lasers. We haven't taken much damage, so we'll just keep firing. All right, perfect. Now let's drain some nano, or drain some shields, and then we'll just fire everything, I guess. Oh, we are we are overloading our heat. Ooh. Now you're gonna see what happens when you die. Oh yeah, you can also click or hover over everything here to see. Now stability never really mattered to me, so I don't know if that's actually in the demo or not. Um, now, we don't really... Yeah, I don't know if we can use these. We don't really want to while our heat is that high. It's actually the most I've had to had to deal with heat. Yeah, so since this is overheated, we can't use these. Um, so we're just going to end turn and pass. Because it does go down every turn as well. Um, maybe we should have grabbed the heat sink just to have a, a bit more. Um... Uh, well, it's risky, but I think this should kill him. Yeah, okay. Alright. So yeah, when you overheat, you're not able to use weapons anymore. You can also take more damage, so... Definitely definitely hurts a little bit, but since we're still early on, it wasn't that uh, big a deal. But we definitely would like... Oh, yeah. Uh, we're starting to get there. We're starting to get there. 
Um, repair systems are really good. Ooh, that's a heavy laser, though. All right, I'm taking the gun. I'm hoping for a good heat sink. Okay, okay, there's there's one that's decent. We could also do armor or another one of these. But, uh, so that laser, if you see there, generates heat for the opponent as well as removing our own. So you can use that to overheat your opponent or force them to do heat sink things. Definitely the best pick right now is we could use this heat sink because A, there's a zero cost that restores AP, which is great. But also clearly we don't have enough ways of removing heat because we uh, overheated. So usually I've ended up putting these on the legs because I haven't found as many other things that need to go on the legs. And then we can... Uh, we can put this on one of our arms. We're going to put it on the right arm because if I put it on the left arm, it will fit. But then I'm really making it that if I lose my left arm, we're pretty doomed. So we'll refit here. And up here, this fully heals and this uh, partially heals. So we're going to fully heal since we can afford it. Get ourselves back up to full. And yeah, this is our deck now. We just added uh, these two plus uh, these. So all right, on to the next battle. And this early on, you don't really see as much of the uh, the customization of the mechs and how much it can do, but it's a, it's a really neat aspect. Okay, so I'm going to drain his armor a bit, and we're going to go this and try to get rid of, the, uh, try to get rid of uh, this as quick as possible. And yeah, that was the heavy laser I just used, so it does a ton of damage. Okay, well... Yes, we're just gonna keep blasting and take him out and hit this one too. It's tempting to try for the card draw, but we don't have enough things to restore AP yet. Because in my playthrough where I beat the whole thing, what I had a lot of was I had a, a couple of card draw, but I had a ton of heat sink cards that would restore AP, so I could just keep drawing, restoring AP off the heat sinks that I drew, then firing more lasers and drawing more and all that stuff. And I think at one point I cycled through like twice. Um, doing stuff every time because of how much I could restore AP. Alright, we'll just uh, blast away right here and we'll repair. Since now we can actually gain out of that. And then we'll use this single use remove 30 heat because we're at uh, 10. And since this doesn't actually, this isn't single use, we might as well use it now too just to there too. Alright, what do we got? Um, ooh, there is an AP one, but we don't really have any way to use that AP, so... Although, nice thing is, this one doesn't isn't single-use. A lot of these will be single-use, so this will cycle back in. Alright, we'll do that, and we'll do that. Enter. Oop, and he's repairing himself. Okay. Now, what do we have here? So I can do this, maybe, and then heavy laser. There we go. Rip his shield off. See what he does now. Alright, he's gonna shoot us. Which again, we can see what they're doing up top here. So he's going to uh, purge his heat right now. So we're just gonna firing. And I guess we'll do this. Alright, now he's planning to shoot us, so. I think we're just gonna fire him. Oh, he's so close. Oh, we'll remove some heat. We're gonna take a little bit of a hit here, but we're in good shape. Oh wait, no, he didn't hit us. Is that be? We must have damaged his. Uh... Oh yeah, we took out we took out his arms. So he was planning to shoot us, but we took out his arms with that much damage, so he wasn't able to shoot us that turn. All right, well, fire everything. Whoa. All right. And now we're on to the boss. Fight. Maybe, maybe I will do another another uh, little bit of a run. All right, so um, that's another restore AP. We might take that piercing laser, gamma laser. I think I might take the heat sink. Restoring AP is so powerful in this game. Um, you can't notice as much with where we're at right now because we don't have a lot of card draw. We just have that one uh, one card. But essentially, that's uh, that's where we would be best off, is um, if we have more card draw. Although that I didn't have that card, uh, this one, in my previous uh, run through, and so this is actually the first time I've had a card draw that costs zero. So that's really really powerful. All right, let's fix up our uh, fix up our mech and let's go into the boss battle. 
see how we can do. It's this one's a pretty easy boss, and the name is randomly generated. I've noticed so. Um. Yeah, I mean, okay. So we're gonna fire this first because this discards something. We don't choose what that discards, so it's going to discard something at random. So I want to make sure I fire that other laser first before I play this because I'm okay with losing everything else here. I just didn't want to lose the other damage because I wanted to do max damage this turn. All right, and well, since this cycles back in, we'll use it even though we can't actually benefit from the AP. But since this is single use, we're just gonna shuffle that back into the deck. We're not gonna get enough use out of it. Okay, more lasers. Um, well, let's steal some of their shields to repair what they just did. Then we'll blast them with that, and we'll uh, repair a bit more. And, yeah, burn off that heat again. We're managing our heat well, we're staying at full health, and we're dealing a decent bit of damage, so. Um, yeah, we can take this hit. We're just going to go full in. Full on the offense. Oh, we took out a leg and, uh, and a torso. Nice. Um, now we don't have a way to restore AP yet. But I might try for this card draw anyways. Let's see how this... Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, restore AP. Alright, alright. That's decent. We get at least one more shot off of that. Um, and I think we'll use one of these just to burn off our heat. Alright. Yeah, that was uh, not too bad of a card draw. Now it is it is in our bin, so as you see we don't have this or this in our deck anymore. So this is, uh, this is what's left in our deck, I believe. I think it's once you fill the discard, that's when it gets shuffled in again. But I'm not entirely sure. We'll uh, probably find out very shortly. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll heal this. And I guess we'll do that as well. So yeah, that's what's left. So I think we'll draw all of those cards. Oh, and discard got shuffled back in. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this will probably do it. Yep. Alright, and we beat the boss. We didn't take too much damage either, so not bad. We should get some good rewards here. So we'll get some more credits, more spare parts. And we get to start using some stuff. Um, ooh, I love that. Wait, that restores two AP? Oh, that's all AP restoring. Oh. Oh, that's a lot, though. Oh, and that adds shields, too? Oh, we gotta take the laser, right? Yeah, we're taking the laser. Alright, now let's see what the big box got. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that is so much damage. Hmm. Uh, oh man, that's good too, though. These are all really good. We're taking the big shooty gun, though. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's, uh, this is not gonna be easy to fit all this in here. Okay. So we can put this down here. Uh, we can move this here, and let's move this move this over to here. It is a little bit finicky with moving stuff. Oh, that's unfortunate. We're not going to be able to use this other gun. Um, yeah, it's still worth it, though. All right, so this is just going to have to get binned for now. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's it. So we're gonna pay the refit, which is a bit pricey, and then, yeah, we're almost out of spare parts, but everything's fixed up, and then you just click new contract, and you start the next one. The next one's only three, so I think, uh, I think we might play through it. It's tempting to play through the whole campaign, but I want to keep this video fairly, fairly short, so. Okay. I don't know what Pre-Ignited does. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Um... Let's try to take this out quick, maybe. Last away. Those are all single use, so we're not getting them back, unfortunately. And yeah, I mean, might as well do that. Actually, half tempting to use this too, just to get it out of our get it out of our draw pile. Was it worth it? I don't know, but we did it. Um, yeah, alright, we'll just keep firing at him. 
try to burn through this one as quick as we can. And then, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll burn that heat off, I think. Uh, we do actually get value out of that, so we'll do that. Burn off the heat, and there. These seem to do a fair amount of damage. That's kind of why I'm focusing on that first. Ooh, it destroyed our leg. That's a problem. Um... Okay. Uh, alright. Let's do this. Shred through a bunch of damage. I actually don't know how this works. If I use this... Let's find out. Can I use this? Well, I can, even though there's nothing to discard. Alright. That's, uh... That's pretty potent. Oh, and the burst laser hits everything. So that'll hit both of them. We don't- we haven't had a ton of them yet, but, yeah, that's what Force Laser does. Okay, well, we took him out. Not bad, not bad. Um, is it worth doing this? Oh, wait, yeah, I can see what I'll draw. Um, mm, yes. We'll- we'll do it. We'll do it. Draw the rest of these. And then we will fire the laser, which does a ton of damage, but we are overheating fast, so we'll we'll do that, we'll do this. Um, yeah, I guess we might as well do that. And we'll steal some of his shields. And the turn. Back into the rest of our cards again. Alright. This does a lot of damage, we'll use that, even though we're only hitting one target. In, and do I need to? Yeah, maybe I do. All of our all of our components are running red now, so there's uh, some concern <laughs> that he could uh, strip our weapons out. All right, well, feedback laser, regular laser, heavy laser. Oh, so close! Oh wait, this is the zero cost. Never mind, we're good. There we go. Perfect. Not used to having zero cost weapons. I did not have that in my last run. That's not a lot of money, though. Okay. Um, uh, perfect. That's what we're looking for, is Feedback Sync 2. Um, ooh, those are very expensive drains, anyways, so... Yeah. Yep. Easy choice. Oh, I do love this, this laser, usually. And this is easier to fit. Alright, let's see. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that's so much damage. Oh, but that's the 2 AP one. Oh, uh, no. Alright, we're going greedy. We're going weapons. Alright, I'm definitely going to have to lose some weapons to fit that. Or lose all of my weapons to fit that. Come on. Alright. This is very questionable what I'm doing, but... I'm sticking with it. Alright, so we have a bunch of weapons that are just kind of collecting dust. Eventually, so I could put it on the ground and then I assume when I go to the next battle it'll disappear. In fact, we'll, we'll, we'll test that real quick because I haven't actually tested that. But I do know that this feature of selling doesn't exist yet, so... And unfortunately we can't put these anywhere else. As you can see, they're all redded out, so we can't actually equip it to the other spots, so... Alright, we refit. And... We can't fully heal, I don't think. Yeah. That was the best we could do. Alright, so we're going into the next one a little bit hurt. Or a lot of bit hurt. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we just focus on one of them. Try to take them out as quick as we can. Alright, this is worth drawing cards because we have two AP, uh, restore AP here. And we have three available AP right now. And we could lose our arm here, so... Might as well get uh, get as much use out of it as we can. Okay, we'll just shield up. And we generate a lot of heat doing that, so we'll do that. End the turn. Okay, we're able to do everything again, so that's good. And we're just going to keep firing at this one, try to burn it out as fast as we can. Right, that's the laser that draws us cards. Which is pretty sweet. 
ahead, we'll remove 30. Maybe I should have drained Nano here, just to give us more shields, but... We are gonna take a beating right now. But they haven't destroyed our arm yet. Messed up our leg pretty bad. But... That's, uh... That's not quite as bad. Alright, one down. Fire on that one. And then we will add some shields. And I guess we might as well do these just to burn the heat and shuffle them back into our deck. Since we're going to pull, yeah, we're going to shuffle in our discard anyways. Okay, draw some cards. Perfect. That's what we were hoping for. Alright, now add some of... Oh wait, let's, let's heal. Because there's health and there's armor. So these are adding armor, and what I just used adds health. And obviously we've taken a lot more health damage than we've taken armor damage, so a little more useful. Alright, we'll do that. Pass turn, we're gonna take a little bit. Alright, some damage. Let's see. Fire all the things, and then we will, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put these back in. And then our deck's gonna shuffle again. Alright. Ooh, took out our drain nano, that's a little unfortunate. Um, oh, they took out our head, that's why. Got it. Um, and some armor. Yeah, we'll do this. And I guess we might as well do that. Our head's still taken out, but at least it's shielded. Okay, and it, it just heat, it did heat sink, so that's good. Jack laser. Burst laser. Burst laser. Precog. Um, sure, we'll do that, add some armor. Pass the turn, we've almost got him down. Okay, so he's gonna gain health this turn. Okay, I'm just gonna blast away, shield up. Still can't use our drain, unfortunately. So, we will just... Pass. He's gonna heal up, and now he's probably gonna attack, yeah. Yup. Alright. Fire this first, draw some cards. Alright, we're just gonna keep shooting then. And... Yeah. Not much we can do here. Yep, gonna take a bit of a hit, but as long as we can draw one weapon... Alright, we're good. And this will bring us to the next boss battle, and I think that's where we'll, we'll call this video. Um... We, we would be halfway through the run here, if, if I call it here, but I think that uh, gives you a good enough demonstration. So, not going to get much use out of this, and it's kind of a weak heavy laser anyways. Um, would get use out of these, though. Um, do I want restoring AP, or do I want this? I think we want, we want some more shielding, or armor, I should say. Um, okay, those are actual healing ones, so, and that one restores AP. Oh, that's so much card draw, though. Alright, we're being greedy. We're being greedy. We're going for it. Okay. So this is going to go onto the head, because that's the only place you can put stuff of that type. And then we're going to add more armor to this gun, because that's most of our attacks, I think, right? Or are these all single use? Single use, single use, single use. Okay, well. Let's add this to the head, then. Oh, okay, so the ground is still here. That must be just for selling, and since sell selling's not available, it's not something we can do. Alright, well, we still weren't able to fully heal, so this ought to be a little bit scary, but... We'll see what we can do here. Alright. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Okay, now we blast. Oh, I could draw a bunch of cards here. Oh, we're gonna do so much damage this turn. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna draw seven. Draw through most of our deck. Um, restore one AP. Um, so we're gonna use this because it's going to restore two. So now we're back at full. Fire the lasers. Fire the lasers. Um, yeah, we might as well. We are kind of uh, burning through a lot. Okay, we're gonna draw more cards. Um, sure, rapidly draw even more cards. Nice. This is exactly what I was thinking when I, when I talked about how fun it can be to draw through your deck. 
Um, this is what we were referring to. All right, draw some more cards. Okay. Uh, yep. Draw some more cards. Uh, we can restore some AP. And fire some more. Uh, fire some more. And then now we're going to finally be out of stuff, right? Okay, is there anything we want to do? I suppose we can drain from them, or we can just shoot them. Yeah, we're just gonna shoot them. Okay, and we generated a ton of heat doing this, so we'll, we'll take some more off. And shuffle the cards back in. That was, uh, quite the turn one. Alright. Blasting, keep blasting, keep blasting. Oh wow, he's almost dead already. That's incredible. Um, Alright, well, we might as well do this. Heal up a bit. And... Um, well, we'll do we'll do this. And we'll drain. And we'll add some shields. Yep. Alright. Um, I think he's in a pretty doomed position right now. <laughs> Alright, draw some cards. Ooh! <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's some of my favorite things in this game. Is when you do that, when you're cycling through so many cards because you're constantly burning your heat, you're constantly giving yourself AP, you're constantly drawing cards. That's when the game feels at its best, and you just do tons of damage in a single turn. So even though the game's actual card game mechanics are fairly simple, there's lots of really cool things like that. And then building your deck and customizing it, you get quite a lot you can do. Um, you're picking cards every time. Ooh, I always love that one. Yeah, that's so much damage with the heavy laser, but win them. That's a nice, nice script. Oh, and then more, uh... Oh, wow. That's so much card draw. But yeah, that's, uh, that's basically how the game works, so I would have one more contract to do and then another one. I think in the full game, there might not be a limit on contracts, or you might you might be able to pick certain contracts because as you can see down here at the bottom we have orbital trade platform which can be used to purchase or sell equipment and that's not available yet and that uses these credits so that's what they'd be for um skills that's not implemented yet which is as you kill things like your uh your actual player your player uh, up here would level up and be able to unlock skills and then bounty board is what allows you to select a new contract um so i guess you could probably change while in progress stuff like that as I mentioned, there's quite a lot you could do with uh, customizing here. As you can see, we're not using any of these weapons, as I mentioned, because we're trying to fit these in. So that whole limit makes it so it's not just taking the best necessarily, because maybe I would give up, say, this gun if I had another one like this that I really wanted, because then I could put that one here and then put like this on the bottom, and that might be better than having this, this uh, epic gun. But uh, maybe if I had picked this in that, in that last box, I would have done something like that. So yeah, there's a lot of real deck customization that that matters quite a lot because of how you place things. And I, I kind of threw stuff relatively haphazardly this time around, but um, that gives you this really neat aspect of, of really customizing your mech and your deck, essentially, and just getting to do a lot with that. And there's a number of different ways to play, but... Obviously, it, it's a bit simple because it's mostly just do damage or heal yourself, but you, how you build your deck is going to depend on that. Um, I like having a lot of damage, I like having a lot of ways to restore AP, and I like having a lot of ways to draw cards because that just creates that really fun loop where you're just cycling through card after card after card. So I love, I love attacks that draw you cards, I love things like precognition that draw you cards, so that's usually my focus on deck building and hopefully when the full game comes out there'll be even more choices that you can go with but yeah all in all i'd highly recommend checking out the demo the game's really really fun um for for what it is it's pretty simple it's pretty easy i think it took me like i don't know 45 minutes to an hour to play through the game the first time so it's a fairly quick quick game um when you play through it for the demo anyways so yeah definitely worth checking out so uh hope you enjoyed the video um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment below, and subscribe for more card game related content.